Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Uh, today I'm finally gonna get around to getting this cow done on the car. Uh, for you guys that don't know, uh, probably tell by the title of the video, but basically on these F-Body Camaros, everybody knows that these cows hang over quite a bit in the engine bay. Um, a lot of race car guys end up doing it. They'll end up cutting all this section out and uh, get them a sheet of like uh, sheet metal and fab it up and get it to where like you don't have wipers no more and you gain all this clearance inside the bay. So uh, that's today's agenda. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, I had a few requests that mentioned putting it in. Uh, I wasn't actually gonna film this, but uh, just cause I thought personally it was just a, a pretty straightforward process, but you know what, it's part of the build. So um, you know what, let's get it in there, you know? So um, on top of that, I got a little treat to show you guys. I got a, another toy here and I am enjoying this thing. 2018 Street Glide Special. Um, the old Supermoto is an amazing bike, super fun to ride. Um, but man, I'll tell you, I should have bought one of these right here years ago. Uh, great ride, real smooth. Um, man, I'll tell you, I foresee myself putting a lot of miles on that thing here real soon. So anyway, guys, back to the video. Uh, first order of business is to get the hood off out of my way. Um, I'm also gonna go ahead and get this engine and the transmission pulled back out of the car so that way I'm not throwing, you know, just major amounts of sparks all over everything. Besides, this stuff's gotta come out anyway because I gotta make room to get the other engine, the, real, the original engine back in place and mounted with the transmission so I can get the final uh, specs as far as the drive shaft's concerned. So, um, Next order of business, like I said, is to then cut this after that's done. So that's what I'm gonna do, guys. Get the hood off, get the training pulled out for you, and uh, I'll touch base back with you guys here as soon as I'm getting ready to uh, start making, uh, marking my cuts. Okay, so here we are. Uh, engines out, hoods off, transmissions out, all out of my way. So what I've done is I've went ahead and kind of just put a filler line on where I'm gonna cut. Um, I'm gonna leave this about a quarter inch lip uh, on the front side of the windshield so that way as the windshield gets pulled out and replaced over the years or whatever It's still got a good solid mating surface. You can see here uh, The glue that's underneath the window and such so I don't want to be trying to cut all the way back to the side of the window uh, You want to leave that little bit of an edge so that way that's got something to go to um, And if you get <clears throat> once you guys get up in here and you start looking and you get up underneath here You can see there's a seam seal here all along here where it's got spot welds from the factory. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually cut right on that line all the way across. And then once I get that cut, then I'll come back and I'll make my line cut all the way across. I'll make it a little mark there, here, across the top side of the wiper, same thing falling across. And then when you get to this corner, it can be a little tricky because it's a little tight up in there. You can see, I mean, it's gonna be kind of hard to get a cutoff wheel in there, but uh, I've got a body saw too as well if I need to. <clears throat> so invest in one of those if you guys don't have one. But once you get up in here, you can see that if you follow this contour of the windshield way over, way over in this area, I've just made one cut this way instead of coming all the way back up in here. Uh, I mean, you can if you choose to do so, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna make a cut here. And then if you look, the firewall, when it goes straight up, is actually ending about right here, maybe right underneath this bracket. So you're gonna have this whole void in here that's gonna be basically uh, null and void. So uh, once you make this down cut through here, uh, I'm just gonna follow it down and cut along this seam seal up behind this bracket straight up until you hit this line right here. So um, that way that's that whole chunk is gone. It's straight up with the firewall and then Unfortunately, the car will probably have these voids because <clears throat> once you look up inside these pretty deep, actually, it, it go. I mean, it goes in way above where like the dash area is at up in there. So it's going to actually have uh, a little bit of a gap in there. So no big deal. Um, I hear sweating to death, man. It's, it's hot in Florida and uh, trying to lift this engine out by hand was rather heavy, even with it gutted, you know. So uh, I think these iron blocks, they, they weigh like freaking hundred pounds. So, uh, my, my dad's got my engine lift or a engine lift, not mine. Um, actually, you know what, dad, if you do watch this video, I think that is mine. 
Uh, anyway, <laughs> um, that's that, guys. Got it marked off. Uh, about to get the cutoff wheel going and uh, get it cut, and I'll catch back with you guys here in a minute as soon as it's all cut. All right, so I was getting ready to get started on the grinding. Matter of fact, actually, I was grinding. I already had made a few cuts. I'm up here, boom, jamming out the music, and uh, all of a sudden, uh, FedEx. Hey, man, here's a package. Got something for you guys. Take a look at this. Ooh, buddy. So, figured I'd stop the video real quick and show you guys this beautiful work of art that just showed up here for the car. <clears throat> it's not all of it, but... Ooh, buddy. Check that out right there. Mark Mickey Shifter. If you guys uh, know anything about racing, this is... Uh, pretty much the top of the line shifter that you can get i mean i don't really get much better than that but man it feels like a super nice quality piece <clears throat> reverse shift forward oh, i told him i wanted a forward shift with the clean neutral at the end and uh i wanted the uh silver to obviously somewhat match the car you can get them in green and red and blue and blah 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 all the shit it looks like they sent me some uh m ms which is dope i won't be eating those probably catch covid if i do but uh man this thing is nice guys shifter cable the whole nine it's an air shifter so the air stuff's coming uh i haven't got it yet the guy that i ended up purchasing all this stuff from uh brand new whatever straight from mark mickey uh, but the the uh co2 tank the regulator all the stuff solenoids and all that stuff are should be shipping today so man i'm out here leaking it's hot so I uh, definitely just want to show you guys that real quick. Man, if you guys are on the fence about these shifters, don't be. Man, these are some of the nicest shifters. Probably one of the nicest shifters on the market. So, there you go. A little treat for you guys. Alright, guys. That is it. Boom. I mean, just look at this crap. Would you just look at it? I mean, that's all you had to do, GM. You know? Look at all that wasted space. I mean, I get it. You know, you had to have your profile for the window. That's where it belongs. Look at all that. It's ridiculous. I mean, completely wasted space. So... Boy, I'm sweaty. That's that. Uh, I made the cut. Obviously, you can see that, it, I mean, if you get real close, you know, you can see these edges are rough. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a little time getting everything straight and nice and clean uh, all the way across. Get, get me some straight angles and stuff to make to where I can make my templates with the cardboard. Get it all nice and clean and straight. Then proceed with the cardboard then proceed to shift it to the sheet metal. Once the sheet metal's done, um, that's that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up, move to the cardboard, and I'll get you guys checked back in there. Whoo, it's hot, boys and girls, I'm telling you. Uh, you know, you add the humidity of Florida, you know, inside of a garage, just cutting up metal, yeah, it's hot. So, uh, all you guys up north, man, I, I envy you a little bit. Um, Pretty much got it cut out, and I wanted to show you guys. I had to uh, clean myself up a little bit, change shirts, because, man, I tell you, I was looking like a grimy monkey or something. It's crazy. Uh, but here you go. So, without further ado, this is it. All cut out, cleaned up, and ready for mock-up on the cardboard. So, <clears throat> for you guys that are, uh, are doing this, this is probably going to be the trickiest corner, only because of how... Uh, you know tight everything gets with your cutoff wheels and and, and such and uh, Your body saw I would highly suggest you guys um, Invest in a body saw if you don't have one and an air compressor because uh, It makes life a lot easier when it gets to making some cuts and the body saw is a cleaner cut than just a traditional cutoff wheel so uh, You're able to come back. I put on a, uh, a flapper disc on the, the Grinder and boom went back and cut all my edges up made them nice and clean and uh, I'm about to get in here with a shot vac and uh, get some of that old gunk that's in there 
and uh, put some air back there and blow it out and get it all nice and clean and wipe it out. Make it so it's not 100% uh, grimy uh, when I get ready to box it all in with the sheet metal. So um, that's that, and I will see you guys here shortly. I'll give you guys another sneak peek, sneak peek of my beautiful new Harley that's new to me. Uh, picked it up. It's uh, like I said, it was had 3,000 miles on it from the original owner. He bought it brand new, so it's uh, man, it's a dream to ride. So I wish uh, the weather was a little nicer and. I wasn't working on the Camaro because I'd probably be out on it right now. So I'll see you guys here shortly. All right, give you a little halfway update here. Uh, moving right along. Got this corner tacked in pretty decent. And got the first filler piece in place, as you guys can see there. So I decided to cut it about halfway through the vehicle there. And then uh, I'll come through with the other side. It'll come all the way over until probably about in this area and then this piece will come up and actually kind of come at an angle and try to fill it all in in this whole corner it's going to be a little bit of a feat it's not necessarily this is going to be the hardest area but i'm not too concerned um just want to give you guys a little halfway point got it tacked there in a couple spots so um i'm actually not gonna um go all the way through this and it's a lot easier if you got like a MIG rig, you can just, you know, every few inches and tack it in place. But I'm gonna tack in a couple more spots on the bottom and then that's it. Like it doesn't necessarily need to be fully welded in because I'm gonna go back over once it's all done and tacked in place uh, with seam sealer like people do with mini tubs and stuff like that. Um, and I'm gonna be seam sealing all the cracks. So it's like, it's not gonna go nowhere. It's already not gonna go nowhere with the tacks on it and then you know you got the seam sealer in there to seal it all up to make sure no nothing gets through there so um that's that guys halfway point i figured i'd show you guys some progress all right there she is guys pretty much done finishing up the last two pieces and that's pretty much how she's gonna look i'm gonna get in there and smooth that out same thing on that side so then that way whenever i go to use the uh seam sealer all over top and bottom gonna run it smooth and get ready to sand it for paint it's gonna it's gonna look good so this is how the box ended up looking uh, as you guys can tell um, not all the corners are completely you know covered up like down here I'll have to run a pretty good amount of seam sealer that's fine same thing along this edge this ledge is this edge is nice and and together but as you can see up in here there's a hole but what I'm gonna do is when I come in with these other pieces that I'm about to show you uh, I'm gonna come at it like a slight angle and cover all that up just like that and then whenever I come back over the top with the seam sealer it's gonna look nice went ahead and weld it up pretty decent there same thing on the corner now this is the only corner that I'm not really concerning myself with um, I left it open so that way you know all the spiders and stuff like that can crawl down and crawl on my legs and make me shit myself um, but anyway I'm not really gonna worry about that. I mean, the cow's gonna be up here, you know what I'm saying? And you're you're gonna be able to see a little bit behind the cow down in the engine bay now that that wiper cow is not here. But I mean, that's if you're like standing back here, like looking down and through underneath the hood, which I'm not concerned myself with. So you might be able to see this, you know, that, that hood will come across this. So you'd really have to be like looking down to see that there's a cavity there, but I'm not concerned with that. This is mainly the firewall protection that I'm looking for, you know, with the hood and everything. I mean. And I mean, if, if a fire were to happen and it blew and flames went down and back and up and somehow made it past this dash area and into the cabin, I mean, hey, I guess it was just destined to be, I don't know. But um, that's, that's pretty much done, guys. I mean, that's how it is. It's pretty simple. Like I said, these are those half pieces that I've got. All right, uh, pretty much like this. So I ended up splitting this up because of the way the curve is. I was gonna try to do it all in one piece. Uh, all the way across here but what I found is the contour of the firewall is almost straight here and then once it gets to this point because of this area it flexes out towards the nose uh, just a little bit so this plate goes forward on the car just a hair it's kind of hard to see on video right now but um, essentially like I was gonna have to basically just press and hold and tight just to get all this stuff to line up. And I thought, you know what, like it doesn't matter. So let's just cut it down the middle and make it so it can be seamless, you know, 
and then same thing over there in the corner for when I did the boxing. So, and then like I said, I'll come across the bottom here with seam sealer and, and, and do it all up. But this is the other half piece. And so it's gonna look pretty much, once you get it up into place, it's gonna look something like that. So you'll get it, obviously, get it lined up a little bit better like you got right there and then uh, and move forward. I mean, it's gonna look slick. So, um, I mean, you won't even see that anyway. I mean, pretty much like once this is in place, right? I mean, and you're looking down and you don't even see that. You'd have to be up underneath the engine looking up to see it. So that's what's the beauty about these uh, wiper cow deletes is that it opens up all of this room in here. I mean, it's just amazing how much room is opened up. And same thing on this side, especially when you have the AC deleted. I mean, you almost, you almost can't get your hand down through here in a factory F body, you know, with the AC in place and this cow coming out. Like if you were trying, if you lost a bolt down there or something like that, you, you'd have to come through here with like a magnet almost. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. So the fact that I can get like, I mean, all of this room to get to the back plugs or bell housing bolts, whatever, you know, it is what it is. So if you guys are on the fence about doing this, you know, don't be, it's a little bit of work. Sure. You know, I've been at it pretty much for the most part of the day today. Um, but really, I mean, it's not hard. You, you take your time, you make your measurements, um, you know, use your cardboard. You, I, I think maybe the main suggestion I can give you is use some good quality, straight cardboard. Don't, uh, don't screw yourself over by using some folded up box you had in the corner for the last 10 years that's hey it's cardboard no don't do that because when you're going to making these templates and you're lining everything up and you're making your cuts i mean as good as your cardboard is is what your plates are going to be you're in your sheet metal in plates the, the the ones that you've seen so um you know if you're using some crappy cardboard you're in you're basically shooting yourself in the foot so um i think that's it uh, make sure you get a good quality seam sealer. There's a bunch of them out there. I'm not going to name any specifics because, I mean, literally there's a bunch. So, I mean, if you just Google just like body seam sealer or something like that, just, I mean, it's going to give you Buku's amount of options. So, um, I'll let you guys figure that out. So, I hope this video helped uh, some of you out there. Uh, like I said, I've had a few of them. Um, uh, messages, geez, that, uh, that said, Hey man, can you go ahead and do this video? Cause you know, I'm looking to do the job. And so I thought, well, you know what? It's going to work out. Um, I don't really have any, this is just basic, just sheet metal. That's like, uh, it's like factory thickness. I forgot exactly like what it is. Um, but any sheet metal or any metal fabrication shop should have that stuff for you guys. And I tagged it up um ideally i mean you'd like to get in here and hold it and hit it with a mig boom 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 just go all the way across and just make it up do some tacks and you'd be good to go but i don't have a mig rig i have just my tig rig so um i'm not too concerned with making it easy i mean it is what it is uh as you guys can see i kind of ground that one down i'm going to do the same thing on this side i left the welds up pretty much my my glorious welds there so that's it guys. I appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like on the video for me and hit that subscribe if you haven't. Um, man, this thing's clicking along. Uh, I'll be, I'll definitely be getting um, this all cleaned up. I got some purple power. My wife went and picked that up for me. And uh, I'm going to get in here and get this thing nice and clean. Uh, Prep-ish for paint. Wipe it all down. And then uh, get the engine in here. Get the, get the drive line set up so I can get the drive shaft measured. That's probably going to be the next video. So, uh, oh yeah. One more thing I was going to end you guys on. <clears throat> check these sweet things out on a, on a roll cage here got the carbon fiber deals put on it these are real carbon fiber like so when you're getting in and out that you're not rubbing the paint and stuff off on the bars and then uh still got to get that shifter out you guys seen that on probably some of the last videos but uh there it is i got the the mark mickey shifter that's going to be going in it and that's that all right, guys, I appreciate it. Thanks. Make sure you pay attention to the next video, and I'll catch you next time.